The Korean concern Diwoo, which gained strength in 1998, launched a massive attack on the world market. The flagship of the squadron, consisting of brand new Nabira, Lanos, and Maydai's models, was the Leganza sedan. Since earlier the company was engaged in the production of only licensed copies of other people's cars, the best minds of the global automotive industry had to be involved in the creation of new models. Engines were created by GM Designers, a division of Holden, and the engineering company Ricardo, Great Britain, Transmission, by German ZF, Zandard Fabric AG, and Saxe, Electrical Equipment, again by German Siemens and Bosch. The Italians helped with the design, Ital Design offered the Koreans the Kensington Project, created several years earlier for Jaguar and rejected by the customer due to excessive modernism. Somewhat modified, it formed the basis of the Diwoo Leganza. The car was produced in Korea, assembled in the SKD method in Ukraine, at the Kvant plant in Ilyachevsk and in Russia, at the Krasny Oksai plant in Rostov and in Taganrog at Tagazi. The Russian versions, which differ from the Korean ones in the nameplates on the trunk, were sold only at home, under the name Don and Vest Condor. In Ukraine, the car was sold by official dealers, but occasionally there are copies imported from Europe and America on the secondary market. Large Diwus, Leganza and Nabira, were sold sluggishly at first, some of the cars in the late 1990s stood in car dealerships for several years. Therefore, some Leganza on the secondary market were offered under the guise of removed from conservation and allegedly brought from America or Finland. In fact, they often turned out to be ordinary second-hand copies with a clean interior and a coiled speedometer. More than half of the Leganza sold today were operated in Ukraine as an official car of the boss of the enterprise with a professional driver. Their condition is usually satisfactory, since they were serviced at good service stations, and large mileage figures were wound up mainly not in cities, but on country roads. The current owners, as a rule, the first ones, ask from eight to $15,000 for a car. This is the price of a fresh one-year-old car with the lower class. The reason for the rapid devaluation of such a large and well-equipped sedan is the low prestige of the brand, which for many buyers of the D-Class is of paramount importance. But for those looking for a family car, practicality and reliability come to the fore. Leganza fully complies with these requirements. The main advantages of this car are spaciousness and comfort. Spacious, trimmed with high-quality materials, plastic, leather or bel air, the interior can easily accommodate five, rear width at shoulder level is 141 centimeters. The review is generally good, but the rear view is somewhat limited by the high trunk. The boarding process is not ideal due to high seat cushions and low doorways. For its price, Leganza is equipped luxuriously. The list of equipment of the most common version of the CDX is impressive, ABS, variable power steering, power windows, tinted windows, fog lights, electrically adjustable and electrically heated mirrors, heated rear window, alloy wheels, driver's seat with five adjustments, height adjustable steering wheel, folding piece by piece rear seat, wood grain trim, bel air, clock with thermometer, central locking, driver's airbag, door guards, audio preparation, headlight range control, additional brake, light, wipers with adjustable cycling. It is worth noting that in the rich trim levels, instead of an air conditioner, climate control system with an automatic recirculation damper was installed, and the leather upholstery of the SX and CDX versions sometimes looks shabby for a run of 250 to 300,000 kilometers. The body of the car is partially galvanized, in some countries it was given a six-year warranty. However, on older specimens, if they were not treated immediately after purchase, rust can be found on the arches of the rear fenders. It is the 2.0-liter Leganza engines that experts consider the best for our conditions. The 2.0-liter engine with the T20 SED index was produced both in 8-valve SOHS 116 horsepower and 16-valve DOHS 136 horsepower versions. The 2.2-liter T22 SED engine 133 horsepower was installed on cars for the American market. It is not recommended to buy it since the diagnostic scanners of most of our service stations do not see its electronic control unit. The T18 SED engine with a volume of 1.8 liters, 8V, 95 horsepower, has less power, the lack of which is felt when driving in dense city traffic. Structurally, all units are the same. Rare cases of overhaul of Leganza engines are caused by certain mistakes of drivers, driving with a low oil level, water hammer when forcing a deep puddle, etc. 
There were no cases of extreme wear of power units at specialized service stations, although cars with a mileage of more than 300,000 kilometers are not uncommon. According to the instructions, engines can consume A92 gasoline and do it with appetite, 12 to 14 L 100 kilometers in urban mode. The quality of domestic fuel engines considered acceptable, especially since, like Lano's with Nabira, the Laganza has a gasoline brand switch. The gas pump does not like when there is little fuel in the tank, in this case, it needs to be replaced every 80 to 90,000 kilometers, in more benign conditions, it survives up to 140,000 kilometers. It is recommended to change the timing belt after 60,000 kilometers, and together with the rollers. Valve hydraulic compensators, subject to timely oil changes, can last up to 300,000 kilometers. The sore point of all the woos of those years is the idle speed regulator, which has to be cleaned every time the idle starts to float. Another annoying little thing is a possible oil leak from under the valve cover. All Laganza were produced with front-wheel drive. The SX and CDX versions with 16V engines could be equipped with a four-speed hydromechanical automatic, about a fifth of them in Ukraine, the rest were equipped with a five-speed manual. Experts recommend changing the oil and filters of the automatic transmission every 80 to 90,000 kilometers, and yet its trouble-free operation ends soon after 200,000 kilometers. The repair is so expensive that some owners prefer to replace the entire unit. Therefore, if the odometer reading of the chosen specimen is close to this figure, it is better to look for another car. Manual boxes are more survivable, except that by 80 to 100,000 kilometers gear shifting may become more difficult. The issue is resolved by replacing the bushings backstage. Clutch with the calm driving style, namely, this is how Laganza is usually driven, serves 250 to 300,000 kilometers. The owners do not complain about its hydraulic drive. The resource of the CB joints of the semi-axis is commensurate with the resource of the power unit, but mechanics strongly recommend monitoring the condition of the anthers of the hinges. Chassis is one of the main advantages of Laganza. The soft suspension guarantees a smooth ride, noiseless overcoming of bumps and confident movement at high speed on suburban highways, it was often bought for long trips. At the front of the car is the usual McPherson, at the back, an independent multi-link. The silent blocks of the front levers of the first Laganza were not durable enough for our roads, but after a few months the Koreans released the so-called reinforced ones, and the resource of these parts increased to 100 to 150,000 kilometers. Rear silent blocks last even longer. The front shock absorbers give up no earlier than 50 to 60,000 kilometers. The rear shock absorbers by the first 100,000 mileage. All gum can be replaced separately from the levers. Ball bearings also change separately. Are enough for 60 to 80,000 kilometers. The stabilizer struts were at first very weak, but in 2000 they became more durable and now they can withstand about 20 to 30,000 kilometers on our roads. In the front end, the support bearings of the struts require special attention due to the dirt that has got into them, in particular during washing, they begin to creak. Sometimes it is enough to flush these nodes and lay a new lubricant. The second weak point is the springs, in which the extreme turns sometimes break and not all owners immediately notice this. In general, the durability of the Laganza suspension, like many other Koreans, is very dependent on the owner's driving style and the condition of the roads on which he travels. The effort on the steering wheel varies depending on the speed of movement. A trouble-free hydraulic booster is responsible for this. Every 30,000 kilometers, he needs a fluid change. After 60,000, session of diagnostics from specialists is recommended. Oil can leak from the steering rack by 40,000 kilometers. The oil seals must be replaced, as well as the guide bushings. Disc brakes on all the Ganza wheels are effective with precisely metered force. In the conditions of a big city, the front brake pads wear out every 15 to 20,000 kilometers, and the rear brake pads serve up to 40,000 kilometers. Brake discs are ground to 50,000 and 100,000 kilometers, respectively. Almost all 2.0 liter versions are equipped with ABS which is distinguished by its optimal setting. The only thing that can confuse this reliable and comfortable car is the emblem on the radiator. A sedan of this class in the view of many should be more thoroughbred. But if such intangible categories do not bother you, the Wooliganza is your car. It's even more affordable than it first appears.